Anyway, so, okay, so I'm looking at this little thing that's, like, fluctuating. And, uh, and then I was like, okay, well, let me watch it, see what happens. And then it actually turned into this little, like, cartoon. Where, where like, okay, imagine, like, a, an animation of a hole in a piece of metal. Like, and you clip, let's say if you're really trying to do this in real life, you would clip the hole one way and then take some still frames of it and then clip it some more so that it looked like it moved like the hole was moving and doing things like an animation okay now uh like uh and it was it was some uh it was some it, it began to be this picture of some little figure in a house it was sort of very sort of primitive because it was just a hole in a piece of metal, but, but and and like they were going out of the house, this little figure, and uh, and going off on some adventure. And then I thought it was a guy at first, but then it turned into it was a chick or something. And like and then she went up on some mountain and like her let her dress like flow over the mountain or something, and then. I can't remember what happened. I, it was just weird. But anyway, so so I kept the. Uh, it had something to do with bugs or something. It was kind of creepy. Or bugs like came crawling over the mountain or something. Sort of creepy. But anyway, yeah, yeah. So I, was, I turned my attention from that, and then I. The next part I was, in some. The next part that I remember, I, I just remember swimming along that river and thinking. It's February, but I'm swimming. It's warm enough to swim for some reason, you know. So I was still a little confused, like you have that dream haziness, you know. And uh, uh, and then I kept going, and I uh, I uh, I was in this other part. There was this other part where I was in some room, and some I was talking to some English guy, and. Uh, I was doing something for him. I can't remember what it was, but uh, I was I was doing something to help him out, like get him some papers or answering some questions or writing something down or I can't remember. But he was like, "I I'd really appreciate if you could do this for me." And, uh, and then, and then, right while that was happening, these two guys that were sitting on the ha I was sitting on their bed next to. I was sitting on a floor, like talking to them. And then these two dudes who were sitting on the bed smoking weed, passing the bowl. I think one of them was Nick again. I think he was back. And they they were smoking a bowl, and like, like Nick Nick passed it to was a. No, 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 he was about, this other dude that I didn't know, it was just some dream character, was about to pass it to Nick, and I, I reached for it, I was like, no, I want to, and, and they gave, and he, and he gave it to me, and like, like, I, I, I took a big hit off it, and, uh, I was holding it in, and, and right then the, uh, the English guy said, yes, well, all right, and, uh, I'll be on my way. Thank you very much. And you know, he was starting to walk toward the door, and I was still holding it in. So I just like, I was just like, mm, mm. I was like patting him on the arm, like, mm, no problem, you know. And uh, and uh, and then he was just about to leave, and then I exhaled, and uh, and then I was like, uh, I was, like, uh, I'm sorry about that. I had to hold that hit in. Uh, yeah, no problem. Any time. And I said some stuff. To, to him, I can't really remember exactly what, but, you know, it was sort of like, I was like, oh, by the way, I wanted to say something else about yada, 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 which I can't remember, unfortunately, but anyway, uh, and then, then he said something, that, and then, and then I realized that my mouth was full of hash, it was full of this hashish, somehow, I, like, inhaled it through the pipe, and I was like, mm, and, I, and then, then I was thinking, if I keep chewing on this and swallow it, I'm going to get really, really stoned, you know, because that's a lot of it, you know, and it's going to, like, I'm going to, like, swallow it, and it's going to go into my bloodstream in huge quantities, and I was like, I better, maybe I better spit it up, and, 
And then the English guy was saying something about that too. Like, my dear boy, I, I think you should spit that out. There's a, there's definitely a police presence or something, or there there are police outside or something. And uh, anyway, uh, I don't know if I spit it out or not. It tastes it's sort of just like chocolate, or it looks sort of like crumb cake. It looks sort of like I don't know this kind of cake or something. But uh. Uh, that's about all I remember, but it was really very lucid at that point where I was looking at objects in the, in the, uh, in this, in the river, but it had kind of lost lucidity by the time I was there talking to the English guy, you know, I, I wasn't still fully aware that it was a dream.